Welcome to Doodle Cutie. Let's draw a cute cauldron. Doodle Cutie. Ooh. Start with drawing a straight line across the bottom of your paper. Then a curve on your left, and we'll come over to the right, and a curve to the right. Then another curve on the left, and one more on the right. These two curves will mirror each other. Next, we'll go to our left curve and continue that line straight. And then another straight line on the right towards the top. And then to finish the sides of our cauldron, we'll draw two more curves on the left and right top sides. Then we'll move on to the top of our cauldron, starting with the left side. Draw a little line like that. Then we'll go over to our right side and do another L shape, but mirrored. And the bottom will be a bit longer than the other side, like this. Then we'll draw the top of this shape. We'll start with the curve on the left side. And then we'll go up and do an arch shape, like this. We'll continue that down on each side. Then we'll go over to the right and continue the top of that curved line. And then we'll go back and draw a line going down. Then we'll go back to that circle shape that we made at the top and draw two lines going out from the left and the right, curved like this. See how they mirror the curves directly above? Next, we'll continue this line going up, and then to the right, like this. This is gonna be our battery. Go down toward the bottom, make an L shape, and then we'll make three arches toward that top line. One, two, and three. Awesome. Next, I'm going to finish this top right side of the top of the pot an arch shape like that, and I'll draw a parallel line right under that. Another arch shape that mirrors the one above. Then I'm going to come back to this left side and do a curve shape going toward the right. Then I'm going to go over to the right and do that same curve, but to the left, and just a little bit longer. Then I'll go back to my left curve that I just made and do a wavy line. I'll start by going down and then I'll connect it to the line I drew on the right side, like this. Then I'm gonna go back up to that circle shape that I made earlier and connect these two lines together with a straight line. And then I'm gonna go up and add some bubbles and squiggly lines to add details to my witch's broth. You guys can do it however you like. There are no wrong ways to do this. That's my favorite part.
Then I'm gonna draw a bone in the witch's broth. And then draw a circle shape right under this. Next, another circular shape under the bat wing. Then we get to do my favorite part, the eyes. So we'll start the left eye right here. Then we'll go over about another eye's width and draw the right eye. Then I'll go into my eyes and on the top right, I'll draw a little circle on each eye. And then on the bottom left, of this big circle, I'll draw another one. Like that. Same for my right eye. Then I'll go in and fill in that bigger circle with my marker. Then I'll draw my eyelashes. A swoop on the left, and then a swoop on the right. Now it's time to draw the mouth. I'll draw a straight line in between the two circles, and then a curved shape from the left side, and then a curved shape from the right side, and connect those two lines. I'll do an arch shape near the bottom of the mouth and fill in that top space. Next, I'm going to draw some rosy cheeks. One on the left, under that corner of the eye, and then one on the right, under that corner of the eye. These are two oval shapes and I'll leave those unfilled. I'll color them in later. Then, I'll draw the handles on either side of the pot. I'll start with two lines on the top, then two on the bottom. Bottom ones curve more towards the top of the paper. Then, after making these two lines, I'll connect them with a longer line going from bottom to top on each side. Then I'm gonna go back to that circle shape I made earlier and fill in some details. Because this is an eyeball. So I'm gonna draw a circle inside the circle and I'll draw another circle to the top right of that inner circle and fill it in. And then on the innermost circle, I'll draw another one and leave it white, like this. And last but not least, our cauldron needs a fire. Now this is my favorite part because you can draw the fire however you'd like to. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my flames. You can draw them like mine, or you can draw them however you want.
cute cauldron is all drawn and colored. I hope this drawing brings a smile to your day, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Happy Halloween, and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new